here is the prosthetic. I mean, it's pretty plain. It's kind of weird they put this little nipple on. <gasps> I don't know why. I guess that's so if you're wearing like a sheer something. I don't know. Um, it's just very, it's, it's heavy. It's a good couple of pounds. Um, makes you think about all the weight that you're carrying, really, especially when you're big breasted. It's no wonder we hunch over, don't sit up straight. Like, man. Um, yeah, I've always had sore shoulders. When I was really heavy, I had the indents from my bra. So I always, after the, I noticed those, I started getting the wider strap bras. And then I couldn't wear, like, you know, little tank tops like this because you couldn't get the straps thin enough. Um, anyway, so this is the prosthetic. I mean, there's not a lot to it. It's like a a jelly kind of thing, you know. It's um, it doesn't say what's. In, I guess if I looked at the package, maybe it would say what's in it or what it's made of. This is a size six seven, whatever that means. Um, so then here's that blue bra and you can see it has the splashes on it really pretty and it looks actually really bluer in the screen in camera than it does in real life um, but they sewed in the pockets you can see this one actually it has like a you know and this is just part of the bra and it has like the little thing that your boob sits against I don't know what those are for but then um, Nordstrom's, they, the seamstress sewed in the pocket. I wish it hadn't been white. I wish they had sewed in a blue that would match, but you know, what are you gonna do? Um, they did a nice job of the sewing, if you can see that. Um, you know, I could not have done so well, I don't think. I, it's a little rough down here, but you know, again, I didn't have to pay for it, so. And then you just sort of take the thing and you have to finagle it and get it so that it's sitting correctly in here. And then, and it's not always easy for some reason and it moves around in there so then after you put it on you have to kind of finesse it into place and that's it and then the other bras that I had are you know the beige one which you know it's just a nice they're all just kind of nice t-shirt bras um, and it has the the lining this again has this little pocket thing. Um, this is the one that sits, it puckers up up here and I don't know if they ended up sending the wrong size up to the seamstress or if it just, if I've changed since I tried these on or if I just can't get it adjusted right, I'm going to have to take this one back to Nordstrom I think and ask them if we can adjust it or if there's anything we can do to make it better um, and then the pink one I really like the way the pink one fits and the pink one is like really a true t-shirt bra you know no there's like no underwire it but it still holds up um, and then they put I wish they'd done pink on this one as well to match but I guess maybe they only do the beige and the white and probably black if you have a black bra, which I almost got, but I decided to go for that blue instead. And um, like I said, they're all walk hole. And this is my, like the favorite fit bra. I really like the way this one fits. So um, we'll see how it goes. And um, so that is my bra experience and the prosthetic and 
you know, like I said, it's not optimum. I, you know, would rather not be going through this at all. But with that said, I do feel better going out in public rather than having this big, I don't know if you can, because I'm wearing the, the old sports bra now and you can see, you know, the difference. And I feel very self-conscious going out in public like this. And so having the bra that evens it out and the prosthetic makes me feel less, less self-conscious. Um, I would not be wearing this bra with this shirt under normal circumstances. I just did it so that I could show the bras um, when I'm done here I'm gonna put the bra back on so that it fits better but there are certain clothes that I have not been able to wear because of this bra doesn't hold up well and because the unevenness shows to such great detail and there are other clothes that will camouflage it a little bit and so I've been wearing those more and so now I can get back to my my other you know the more sheer the um, you know the other day I had that pink blouse on which is really sheer you can see the the bra through it but it felt good to wear something like that again so that's a positive effect from getting this you know, like I said, yeah, I'd rather not have to deal with this at all. Who would? You know, I'd rather not have to have dealt with the cancer at all. Who would? But we play what hand we're dealt and we deal with it, you know. We do with the best we can. So, if you have any questions or, yeah, I'm going to do this spiel at least. If you have any questions or if there's anything you want me to talk about or you know if there's anything you want to hear about go ahead and comment down below okay this is a sports bra so yeah so this is I just kind of wanted to show you how I start off boy what a difference huh Whew. so that is the sports bra. Now we'll go to the prosthetics. Okay, this is the blue bra. And so this is the way it fits. Let's see if I can come in closer. I don't know. I think this shirt is just uneven, although I don't remember it being uneven before. So, although that does look a little off, doesn't it? It's so hard to tell. Um, it feels better than, you know, the sports bra, that's for sure. Um, and again, this is the lymphedema side. This is the prosthetic side. So the, this side is still larger. So this is the blue bra and how it fits. Uh, let's try one of the others. This one is the beige bra. This is the one that I think fits a little funny. Um, there's like a pocket of air up here that should not be there. Um, so this is how this one fits. But you can see, you know, even this is better than I think this shirt is just hanging wrong. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> um, but, you know, of course, anything is better than not having these. But, um, yeah, see, that looks better, though. I mean, but if I just leave it hanging down, then I look lopsided. So maybe it is the blouse. Maybe I'll have to try this in another blouse. Let's try the pink bra. Okay, now this is the pink bra, and this is by far the most comfortable of the bras, and um, yeah, so this is, I think it's probably the most even of them too. Um, so 
So yeah. Hmm. God, look at that. Awful. Let's hide them. <sighs> um. Yeah, I think this shirt. Maybe I need to just take this in a little bit up here. Oh, the, yeah, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? Whew, okay. So that answers that question. Um, it's me. So, so this is the pink bra, and this is the one that I'm really comfortable in, I really like. Um, all of these I got at Nordstrom through the prosthetic department, and like I said before, if you actually go online and search Nordstrom prosthetics, Nordstrom breast prosthetics, it'll take you to their website. Um, and they were, you know, the girl that did mine was really helpful, really nice. Um, you know, she measured me and then brought in sample after sample because I kept, you know, like wanting something different, something else, um, didn't fit right, was too big, was too small, it, it, you know. So she made probably six trips out to get more bras until we finally had it whittled down to the three. Um, actually, I had two and she said, after she figured, you know, was doing the paperwork and figured the totals, and she said, well, you can get one more and it might only cost you a couple dollars. <laughs> so I was like, okay, let's do this. So, um, she was really helpful and knew the paperwork and the insurance stuff. And so that was awesome that, and she wasn't so much a salesperson. Um, I've gone into medical supply houses before for other things in the past. And I just feel like I'm dealing with used car salesmen when I go into those. And so she was more of like a lingerie salesperson. They're more in tune to that. She's more in tune to lingerie than she is to the prosthetic part. Um, but she's also has that prosthetic knowledge and what somebody who needs a prosthetic needs as far as lingerie, if that makes any sense. So. Um, you know, my big mahalos to her and um, to Nordstrom's for actually having the service. That's awesome to me. And I have not checked in to see if any of the other department stores have it. I, you know, I don't know. But uh, the fact that Nordstrom's has it is great. So, um, like I said, these were all Wacol bras. Um, which, you know, nice brand, love them. And I will take that one back to her and see if we can adjust it or something to make it fit better. And I will keep you posted on that and, you know, I'll let you know how that goes. And otherwise, I 